out that a place has the best food you've ever tried, it usually finds its way to the top of our list. So when Patrick, Gigi, Ankita, Kieran, and so many more told us that Kama Bistro in LaGrange is the best Indian food around, we called to see what they do that's hot and spicy. There's a lot of options, but our pick for today is the Kamikaze Bone and Lamp Shank. Martin said that you guys have the best Indian food this side of the Atlantic. We are what we call a sucker for punishment. We like to do that hard thing. We do not like to take shortcuts. Everything in the restaurant is made from scratch. We buy over 1,400 pounds of fresh tomatoes a week because we do not use cans in this restaurant. You guys do a special hot and spicy sauce. Kamakazi lamb vindaloo. Instead of just putting traditional Indian chilies into it, we are actually adding ghost pepper. It can really spike it up. The lamb vindaloo is my favorite. Vindaloo. You have to build up to that kind of heat. That's pretty hot, I'm afraid. I like spicy though. But it's not only about heat. In our lamb shank, we use about 10 to 12 different spices. And the lamb shank is off the bone, melts in your mouth. You can tell it's been marinated for a long time. Just delicious. It's pretty amazing the flavors you get from these foods. Very flavorful, very intense. And when you put that heat on, it just, it's all the way. Every time you say ghost pepper, I'm having flashbacks to the quadruple X wing challenge. Holy! So the first step in making the lamb shank is to sear it, which you already did. Now it's time to braise. Yes, we are going to prepare a braising liquid. It's the like cumin seeds. The oil is hot, okay. so put them in. Onion. Add some red chili. It is Kashmiri red chilies. These are native to India. They're known for the color they give to a sauce. Mm -hmm. So Let's put the homemade yogurt in there. All right. I also just want to point out, guys, this is just the braising liquid. This is a lot of labor-intensive work yes. for one dish. Our homemade lamb stock. We're going to add the lamb shanks in. Oh, it's time. OK. We have three kinds of peppers. One is the arbol, which is a little spicier. Japone has a little nice smell and a nice flavor to it. And of course, the ghost peppers that really packs in the heat. Yep, this is a lot of ghost peppers. I might have put too many. I'm already smelling the heat. Yeah, it is. Woo. Again, Indian food is not only about being hot, mm -hmm. it's also the spice element. Yeah. So, so far, all you had is heat, right? Yes. Oh, yes. And then this will get combined with our pepper mixture. OK. Oh, it's nice and, whoa, don't breathe. Ooh, careful. <laughs> this much? OK. Spicy? Yes, well, spicy. Ooh. Indian food is all about sauce. Sauce is king in Indian food. We have added the red chili. Yes. So now it's hot. Mm -hmm, it's definitely hot. We're going to add some coconut milk. OK. So just to kind of give you that little sweetness. So we are truly hot and spicy. Hot and spicy in one dish. From fire to fire, Agnes. Brace yourself. You really like spicy food, so let's see. I can eat that. The ghost pepper is all about the buildup. There are layers of the flavors you're going to discover, but that heat of the chili is like a ticking bomb. There's Ooh, no fire. That went off, I think. <laughs> it's definitely hot. It is like an eight or a nine, but it still tastes good. The lamb shines through, but it does have some sweetness to it. And then you also get those flavors that you expect from Indian food. Keep discovering them as you eat more and more. There will be that hint of the cinnamon or the nutmeg, and then there is a cardamom. I just love Indian food, especially for these layers. So it's not just heat, it's the flavor. We stand the feeling for love, passion, desire. If you want to share some love, just come in and try it out. Cheers to the Cheers meaning to of Kama. Thank you. And some delicious hot food. Mm -hmm.